Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the series Next Flow for Bioinformatics. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to run Python commands in a Nestflow script. So let's get started. So you need to make sure that you have Nestflow installed, and I have a tutorial that shows you how to set up Nestflow. So check the description box and you find the link to that video. Now let's open our terminal and then start. All right, so the terminal has been opened. So I'll first create a directory. I'll just say make the next flow project. You can use any name of your choice and I'll see the into it. All right, now I'll proceed. Now we are going to do two things. We are first going to write a script, a next flow script, and then inside we put our Python commands. And we are also going to create a Python script and then actually run the script in Nestflow. So let's start with the first one. So I will create a Nestflow script. So I'll say nano, let's say um, python work.nf. Let's do this. And then in it, I will specify some stuffs. Okay. I will say process. I'm going to use a simple hello world command. So I'll say process and I'll say hello world. And then I'll do this. All right. Now, if I begin now watching this tutorial, I will encourage you to watch the first episode, which shows how to write a hello world. So in that tutorial, I explained a couple of things, which I will skip here. So if you don't understand anything here, just make sure to check that video. The link is in the description box. All right. So we have created our process and then we bring our triple quotes into the front lines and then in between we will put our command. All right, now I'll have to add a shebang line. So that is it. I'm using a Linux system. So this is where my Python can be found. And then here I'll specify my command. So I'll start with the hello world. So I'll just say print hello world like this. And then I'll do this. I'll also add the workflow. So I'll do the workflow. I bring my curly brackets and then I'll say Hello world. This is it. All right. So now let's execute this command. We will save as it and save changes and then execute it. Now, whatever I'm doing is still basic. You can still do some advanced things here, but um, this is has been made for beginners. So I'm keeping it simple. So after this, if there are other functions you want to add, you can contact me or you can check the description box. I'll put some material there. Or you can also go to the next flow tutorial page and then you can read more about next flow. Okay, so I'm keeping it simple here so that beginners can get the foundation and then start. All right, or build upon it. Now let's edit and save changes. Now, because this is a statement, or let's say a command that will print the hello world onto the screen. If you're going to execute with next flow, you have to add and our option. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to say next flow. Or before we do that, let's do an ls to confirm that file we have it there. So I'm going to say next flow run. I'll specify the file and I'll say dash process.echo. All right. And then I'll execute the command. So once I do that, next flow will run with Python as the engine. And I'll have my hello world here. Okay. So this is how. We do it. Okay, so this is a simple hello world command. Now let's continue. Now let's let yeah, let's just add something else. I think that'll be fun. I'll edit it. And this time instead of hello world, um, I'll play it, I'll just put it somewhere. And by the way, all the files for this materials are available. So check the description box, you'll find the download links. Okay, so uh, that's it. All right, so let's do this. Oh uh, yeah, I think it will be better with you. Let's not save any changes. Um, I'll I will do this. I'll rather copy. I think it's better. So I'll make a copy of it. I'll just say Python work two. 
okay uh yeah let me just do that i think it's going to be a math command so i'll just do this i'll say um add yeah add dot yeah add dot nf like this as one ls so i'm going to edit this one so it is going to be we are going to say you do a simple mass um, operation maybe two plus one all right so i'll edit it and then inside i'll do this I'll bring it here. I'll say x or uh, let's say yeah, s is equals to one, y is equals to five, and then I'll say print x plus y. Alright, so this is it plus y. So let's exit and save changes. So I'm going to execute with next flow. So again, next flow run. And this time I'll say r dot nf dash process dot echo. So let's execute this command. All right, so we have six here. Okay. Now this is why it is uh, sometimes it will be difficult to see. So we will modify the script again. And then this time I'll do this. I'll say result equals x plus one then i'll say print the result s now i'll bring results okay and by the way i have a lot of tutorials on python so if you are new to python uh still check the description box i have an entire place on this that you can use to learn python as a beginner all right okay so this should be fine let's exit and save changes now we run it again like this and then let's see what happens all right so we have it here okay it says what result is two so why is it two let's check it's supposed to be okay yeah okay because we had what s plus one but we can make it s plus y to get our six okay like this and then i'll rerun it again so now we should get our six okay so the result is six so uh, this is it okay it's very very simple to follow now let's do this sometimes you may have your script elsewhere it's elsewhere and so what you want to do is rather call the script in your next flow scripts all right so let's do this Let's create a Python script ourselves. Let's say nano. You can use any text editor. I prefer to use nano. You can use me or any text editor. Let's say nano. And let's say hello world.py. All right. And then in it, let's say print hello world. This time, let's do this. So now the W is capital or uppercase. All right let's save the changes so now let's do this let's copy the hello let's copy the python work yeah let's say python work 2 and if like this i want all the files to be separate all right so we are going to modify this all right so, all right so we are now going to edit so i'll say nano and then i'll call the file name like this all right so we have opened it so for this one because we are executing the script we will use bash to rather execute it so when we come here we will remove it all right so when we remove it the default language is going to be bash all right but if anything you can still state bash explicitly but i'll leave it as it is so i'll clean this and then i'll say python and then i'll paste the part of the script there this one here right so it's that simple that's all you need to do all right so now you can close and then run it 
So you save changes, you close it, and we can run it. So to run it, we say next flow run. You specify the file, and then you bring your dash process dot echo. So let's execute this command. So once you do it, if everything is okay, then it's going to be displayed for you. All right, so that's what we have here. Okay, this is my Python script. So this is how we run Python commands in Nextflow. All right, so I've given you two approaches. Now you can add other things. If you have a complex tax, you can still do some modification, but I'll cover those in another tutorial. But for now, you can start with this and then proceed. Right. It's also possible to run our commands. Okay, so I've covered that tutorial as well. And so just to the question was you'll find additional next flow tutorials. So I'll see you in the next session.